Pisces. What's good, guys? Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot. Yes, I have already broken my background. So we're back at the kitchen. Um, and I hope you're well. Uh, also, I'm going to thank my boss for this beautiful black tourmaline crown. I am rocking it. I love it very much. It makes me feel very protected. So I appreciate that so much. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back. If you are new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if I entertain you, please hit the like button. Um, this is going to be a love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Uh, any strong Pisces placement you have. Um, I have a um, Mercury in Pisces, and occasionally I'll watch uh, a Pisces reading too, especially if the title resonates. So whatever strong pi like placement you have, um, I'm also a Pisces in Vedic. So um, what? I, and I usually read for tropical though. That's usually what I go by. So, all right, my loves. Uh, what else is there? If you would like a personal reading with me, please check out the description box below for a link to how to book a Zoom reading with me um, through Everybody in Mind Wellness Center, or um, you can book a video response reading if you prefer that um, through Wissio. Uh, and this reading is going to be included, ugh, included is going to be an extended reading posted on Ribbon, also in the description box. All right, and in this reading, I'm going to go over overall energies and how people feel for the most part. Sometimes I do get into advice and outcomes too, and then I'm going to really get into the outcome and advice in the um, extended. All right, my loves, let's do this. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, wow, that was quick. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, spare guides, angels, and ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space, so mo it be. All right, what do my Pisces need to know in love in the next few weeks? Wow. All right, I guess I can put the deck down for a second. This lady, she has been coming up for everybody. So traveling in a new direction, um, it's, it's, that doesn't necessarily mean actual travel, right? Like most of us are not able to travel right now. Drop your shields. It may be something that's scaring you or that is intimidating you a little. So while I'm all about the protection, make sure that you're there's a, a balance there, right? Of protecting yourself and not being fearful. Um, the seer. Wow, this is you, Pisces. Oh, my nose. Oh, all right. Um, this is definitely you. Uh, you have very strong... Uh, psychic abilities, almost all of you do, just being born a Pisces. So it's important that you listen to your intuition. Um, be brave and honest. Um, you may have to say something that may be harder to say to somebody. Or, I don't know. It's like, you know, to have to be brave means that there's something you that may be scaring you a little. Just go slow, though. Like, you don't have to, you know, do it all overnight. You know, the blah, 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 blah you know, like be calculated, I'm getting, but not sneaky, you know, there's a difference, uh, see your seeds grow, and you are not alone, this is beautiful, so you, uh, your birthday is coming up soon, and you're not alone right now, a lot of your guardian angels are really strongly around you, this is one of my favorite cards in this deck, um, and see your seeds grow, so whatever it is, whatever work you put in, you're going to start to see the fruits of that labor, you're going through, this came through for Scorpio. I think a couple of these other, the Traveler did too. Whoa, whoa. All these came out in the Scorpio reading. Um, shaman, it's all about like you healing. You might be a healer yourself, but also balancing work and play. Because all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy type energy. I mean, it is winter. Oh, it's been snowing here for a while too. You might be spying on somebody, but it is important that you set your sights really far right now. You're going through some big, big changes, and you may have some Scorpio in your chart. If you do, go check out that Scorpio reading I just posted. I actually accidentally posted last the last Scorpio reading again, um, but I f quickly figured that out and um, quickly noticed, and luckily... Um, I've got the new one. It should be finished now. So if it's there, go check it out when you're done with this one. Ooh. Ooh. Everybody's trying to make the right moves here. 
I think everybody cares about one another. <laughs> uh, Oracle, wow, your person is mega psychic too. They need to learn how to take care of their needs a little bit more. They are feeling like they, you know, they may work overwork or take care of everybody, try and constantly try and take care of everybody else, um, which is something you sometimes do too, Pisces, as a part of your nature. Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times. These are very, very strong psychic cards for me. Like someone is very, very psychic. Um, you could be dealing with another Pisces, actually, or another water sign. Um, connect with your emotions. This person, I mean, they may have a harder time with that. That came out for cancer really strongly. And actually, I had to say that to Scorpio, even though that card didn't come out. Um, this person may be a little bit blocked. I, I'm thinking maybe they're a little too smart. <laughs> it's almost like... Damn, you're too smart. Like, you know, do you ever notice that, like, some of the most brilliant people on earth are some of the most miserable? Sometimes that can create a block, you know, and um, I don't know. Sometimes intelligence really does cause more issues. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Because, you know, there's the saying ignorance is bliss is sometimes, I mean, I don't really take that as truth, but I definitely, you know, as someone myself who's been described as an intellectual by some, I definitely don't, I don't feel comfortable with that label, but like, it's definitely, I don't know, I don't want to get into that. Let's get back to your reading. All right. It just, it can, it can mess you up sometimes. So I understand where this person's coming from a little bit. Um, Pisces, for some reason I'm getting real Capricorn energy with that. And speaking of Capricorn energy, the devil got you stuck in your head, baby. And you got to get out of it. Get out of your head and into your body a little more. Because it's like, that's pure devil energy. The devil got you on the hamster wheel. It's very important that you get yourself off. You may be blaming yourself. Whoa, wheel of fortune. Um, and, and that might be creating a little bit of like bad luck for you. So make sure you get, you definitely stop with the negative self-talk and feeling stuck. Cause that's definitely all in your head, babe. And I know it's hard, but you feel like you're stuck on a wheel. Whoa. You have a lot of anxiety. I think, uh, King of cups, two of swords. Whoa. Sorry, I'm really dramatic. That's how I know I'm an Aries and not a Pisces. All right, well, Pisces are dramatic too, but look at you. You're like the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups and the Two of Swords. So you're feeling all the feels and a little confused about it, but you're definitely staying on top of it. You're not talking a lot about it. I do like this Queen of Cups because she's not staring at her cup. She's looking up. She's got her head up. She's got her chin up. It's just there's some confusion here that you're dealing with. And it's really, really important that, like, you smudge your space. You get your head clear. Um, I am seeing get crystal clear from the crystal deck that I use in the um, um, extendeds. So it's like... Who you may be wondering if you're if your soulmates or or have a deeper soul tie with this person and not sure and and it may be really hard for you to get a handle on that too. That might be part of this. Um this King of Cups is the most fierce King of Cups I've ever seen. Ooh, did you see that? I don't know what that was. Wow, Pisces, that was, there's nothing there. I don't know what that was. Wow. Okay. Um, try not to let the devil overtake you, okay? Because you are not alone. Do you see that? You are not alone. All right? And spirit's very strong. Oh, 
Um, you know, I do think that this person, this is similar to Cancer's in that, like, I think this person knows who you are. Ace of Wands, wow. They definitely feel inspired by your connection. Um, the devil and the lovers being in the same spot. So you may feel like, oh, maybe I'm just obsessed with this person or something. And this person does recognize that it is love and not necessarily obsession. Um, and you may be having a hard time differentiating between obsession and love. And that, that can be hard. It can be hard. I understand. King of Coins, Ten of Cups. Whoa. Wow. This person um, definitely could see a family with you. Uh, definitely sees you, you know, as someone. Wow, this is very similar to Scorpio, but none of the same cards. Okay. I, I don't know. Uh, where did that King of... The King of Cups got lost within the thing and this Tower and the Nine of Cups got slipped underneath. That was crazy. That was wild. So this person definitely can see having a family with you, Pisces. For sure. Um, really strong Taurus energy on this side. Strong Gemini energy, um, but doesn't really matter about the signs. Nine of coins and ten of coins. Whoa. Ho, ho. There is not a single negative card over here. I mean, this person is extremely abundant, single, ready. They are ready to love, and you're all stuck up, up in your head wondering if you two are soulmates. Don't worry about the label so much, Pisces. Because you definitely may have manifested each other in one way or another. That's beautiful. This person is definitely working on having a really good life. And I think they want you to be a part of that or they feel a connection with you. Um, oh, Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Wow, a lot of counterpart energy going on. Um, you know, I intrinsically grabbed this deck. I didn't even mean to. Whoa. All right. It's almost like you have such a hard time seeing yourself as like, as a partner. Or you almost feel like maybe because this ended at some point or hasn't begun yet. It's like, oh, this is like self-sabotage, Pisces. Watch it. The devil again. Yeah, the devil is the only thing telling you that this isn't going to work, which is, it's all up in here. This is a Ten of Pentacles situation. You guys are mirroring in a big way. And I want you to try and turn this around and see this in a different way. You've got to shift your perception about this. Move in a different direction. Yeah, Knight of Wands. It's almost like you've always had a really hard time picturing yourself as a spouse. And you've been running around for so long in different places. That stability is hard. Whoa, Queen of Swords. Hmm. You may have cut this person out before they even got a chance. Um, or made some impulsive decisions because of devil energy. And it's important that you focus on the good right now, Pisces, because this, this is crazy. Um, you or Pisces, you may resonate with this side. Because there is the oracle, like this could easily be you, Pisces, on this side, just really working on having a super good life. Um, this could be two Pisces. And someone's letting devil energy get in their head a little too much. Maybe mental illness. It could be. Let me see. Eight of Wands. Yeah, keep the... This person wants to keep the communication up with you. They want to talk to you. I'm getting, come and talk to me. I really want to meet you. Can I talk to you? I love that song. Works. They want to work with you, Pisces. The Hierophant. Oh my God. Oh my God. This person wants to wife you or hub you up. 
King of Cups. Wow. This person knows how to love. Um, and I'm getting, I want to love you, you young thing. Ah, oh, eight of cups. So this person may have had to walk away from you because of any kind of like impulsive energy. Really watch that, you know, and focus on the good. Get grounded. Go hug a tree if you have to, because you need to get grounded. You need to get into like queen of pentacles energy. Because devil energy is going to cause us to fail. And devil energy is that negative self-talk. Um, and because I think maybe you didn't show this person how much you really cared, they may walk away. Um, or Pisces, this is you. That you let it, known, let it be known that you wanted to work with this person, that you wanted commitment with them. And... They, you know, made you walk away and need to hold back because, yeah, strength, because, um, you know, take it as it resonates. But if you resonate with this side, this person definitely feels like, you know, they let it be known how they felt and you weren't down. <laughs> and so they had to walk away. They didn't have a choice. So... That's a little tough. This took a little bit of a turn, but this person is dope, Pisces. And, you know, I don't want to see you self-sabotage because you're dope too. You're really awesome, but too much devil energy around you. You may have Capricorn in your chart, but that's not what I'm getting. You're letting, you know, negative self-talk take the wheel. And that's not how this goes. Let spirit take the wheel. Let Jesus take the wheel. Let whoever... You feel capable of driving, take the wheel, because you're not really capable of driving at the moment. Trust in the universe. Trust in your intuition. Get out of your head and into your body, because this is pure anxiety. And this is something I have to work on, too, Pisces. Again, I got Pisces in my Mercury. That means I think like a Pisces. Seven of Wands. Try not to get too defensive. You've got to really, like, you're getting challenged. You're in the middle of a spiritual battle. And you're definitely spying on them. But you're you're sort of, you might be in a bit of a dark night of the soul energy. And that's tough. But you're definitely keeping an eye on this person with some of these cards. And wondering if, if you're soulmates or not. <clears throat> wow. You may have run away prematurely. And then, you know, so if you're in a happy marriage, this reading definitely isn't for you. Um, it Or this could be a job that you took off from. Try not to let, or you may have run away because of lack mentality, Pisces. Um, or Pisces, if you're resonating with this side, this person ran away from you because of lack mentality. Or if you're cross-watching. Um, I'm getting confused. I feel like there's a lot. Oh, grief. Yeah. Roughage. The water signs are all up in their fields. So many water signs are all up in the fields. Um, you may have left this person, Pisces, because you lost someone because of, you know, and maybe because of coronavirus, and that's why this devil is showing up so much. You know? Um, ooh. Well, you're, per you're in grief and your person or this person is celebrating. And that, I think they just want to love you. Uh, and it's almost like you won't let them. That's rough. Strength. Three of Cups. Fairness. Yeah, it's almost like, okay, they just want to love you, but they're not telling you that quite yet. Uh, but it looks like justice is coming in closer to March. So, and that's your birthday, Pisces. Um, balance, fairness. They just want fairness. I think they want an equal give and take. I think they want, yeah. And they're not really sure why you don't want that with them. They want this with Pisces, though, with the moon. Oh, Oh, scrutiny. Both of you may have judged each other pretty harshly. I'm not going to lie. 
but it definitely seems like Pisces, they really want to love you and you may not be letting them in or vice versa. This could definitely be the Pisces. Uh, strong Leo on this side, strong Taurus on this side, um, Scorpio, uh, Taurus again, double Taurus, double Leo, uh, Gemini. Um, you definitely got a lot of water in your chart. Uh, also some Libra, a lot of Libra here too. All right, my lovers, I'm going to bring this over to the extended and, um, oh, and Capricorn, clearly with this double, 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 double. All right. I love you. Please protect your energy more. Get, get a, get a tourmaline crown and tourmaline necklace and, and protect your neck. Okay. All right. I love you, Pisces. <laughs> 